Hi, Dave Johnston here. Um, today is um, the evening of July 7th, 2017, and we just had a big sell-off here. This is the overnight uh, Globex market in the gold, um, and you can just see we've got this huge uh, magenta bar here. Uh, we just sold off about $7. We bounced back about halfway. Um, the other markets really aren't doing too much, but the gold is really moving around. I, I, I don't know what the news is. I know there's that G20 meeting going on, and perhaps someone over there has said something. But uh, uh, I have put this uh, retracement on here. This is the 50% mark right here, roughly at uh, 1221.70. Um, I have put a sell limit in just a little bit above that, um, and the reason I put it at the price that I put it at is that uh, this was the earlier low for the overnight session right here. Uh, so I'm placing that, that order just a little bit below that, uh, thinking that this sell-off is, uh, it ties in with a good bearish gold market that we have had. Um, and you know, trying to get short, I think makes sense from an interday auction perspective. So um, that's why I've gone ahead and done that. Um, oh, I meant to make this for two contracts. I better, better adjust that. So um, the other thing that I wanted to do is is at this level here. <clears throat> I didn't want to get it right at that midpoint. In in some circumstances, I would, but I don't really know what's going on here as far as the news is concerned, and, and this is most likely a news-driven event. So I'm, I'm just going to give it a, you know, a few minutes to see if it can settle <clears throat> as far as, uh, you know, the degree of volatility. After all that, that these are three-minute bars, by the way, um, and that one magenta bar, as I said, it moved you know, roughly seven dollars. It was obviously quite a bit in three minutes, especially in the overnight market. So I've got that sell limit in there at twelve twenty-two ninety. Um, I'm tempted to get another one on here right around the midpoint, um, and um, I think I'll go ahead and do that. I'll, I'll put a sell limit in just a little bit above it. Let's say right about there. See if we can get filled on that. Um, because I, th I think we're looking okay as far as likelihood of this market having, um, even though it's it's had a reaction bounce to around the midpoint and, and a little bit above that, I wouldn't be at all surprised we come back down here and test towards the low. So that's kind of what I'm looking at, at at this point in time. So, okay, we just sold two there. We're short at, at 1221.90. Uh, and we've got another sell limit in here at 1222.90. So, uh, you know, we'll see what we can get out of this. I, I'm, I'm going to try and keep this recording fairly short. So I'm going to put it on pause here, and I'll pick it up as the market dictates. Okay, just resume the recording. I had put in a buy limit down here at... Uh, 20, 20, 40 for 15 tick profit. It just went down there and filled us. As you can see, we just have the one contract left. The market did get up fairly close to our uh, 12, 22, 90, uh, where I was trying to sell another two. You can see it got up to 12, 20, 270. Uh, so a little bit unfortunate on that, but we are getting the follow through lower. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, shift this to a break even stop. And of course, I need to reduce that down to just one contract from two. So um, just want to bring you up to date. Once again, I will go ahead and pause the recording. Okay, just resume the recording. It is working its way down fairly close to the low. Uh, so it's moved in our favor about 25 ticks or so. I'm going to lower the stop at least a little bit here down to, uh, um, well, we'll leave it at uh, 1221.10 for the moment. Um, and I can delete, get rid of this guy now. Um, yeah, so um, just wanted to bring you up to date on that. I've got our stop in place, and uh, once again, I'll, I'll pause the recording. Okay, just restarting the rec uh, recording again. Obviously, uh, we've come very close here to being stopped out, so I just wanted to bring you up to date on that. Our stop does lock in an 8-tick profit on the second contract. Of course, we made 15 on the uh, first there, so looks like we're about to get hit. I was hoping that it would just poke its head into... Okay, we just got hit there, so... Um, okay, we're still short too. Um, oh, that was a sell limit I'd put in. I'm sorry, it was instead of a buy stop. Um, so I'm just going to close this um, position here because that's not what I intended to do. So I'm going to close that. Um, but basically, the, the trade getting short in here, um, as I said earlier, I was really trying to get short a little bit higher up 
right in this area in here. It came within a couple of ticks of us getting filled, but we didn't. But we did get filled short here. So we had a nice trade down here, but then it popped up. So 15 ticks on the first and 8 ticks on the second. I don't know what's going on as far as uh, in the uh, political world or otherwise financial world that has... Uh, you know, force this goal to sell off so rapidly here in the overnight session. I know the G20 meeting is 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 getting going in uh, Hamburg, Germany, but I don't, uh, you know, I haven't heard any reports on, uh, you know, somebody has uh, uh, come up with some news or anything like that. So uh, it's it's kind of unusual for this to be happening at this time. It's uh, it was around four o'clock my time, which is seven o'clock Eastern. So it's it's now about 7.36 Eastern time. So we were in that trade not very long, uh, perhaps so 20 minutes or so. Um, and uh, anyway, there's an overnight trade. We don't make them that often, but uh, when we do get some uh, extreme volatility and see some opportunity, we'll go ahead and, and uh, make that kind of trade. So th this was a kind of trade that was really in um, expectation of a box formation uh, in the process of forming with the understanding that more than likely uh, we would have the top of the box or the or the resistance area up where I have that um, extended uh, blue horizontal line. This one up in here was really the area even though the market peers through here once it held below the earlier low then this really became the low of the new box. It might come up to here but that's that's you don't really know what's going to happen unless you get some severe uh, rejection off the low and some follow through then it can come up to here but we didn't get that it, it, it even though it did move up quickly it didn't attract really strong buying at all this this light green bar here um, is the weakest of our three buying bars um, and so you know I think it made sense on that trade uh, we kind of anticipated the fact that a box formation was uh, in in the initial throws of being formed and we traded um, near the top of it uh, to be in good trade location and specifically of what is currently developing and then using the background information of the um, the down movement and the weakness in the gold uh, with the preference of being on the short side. So anyway, there's a trade, uh, overnight trade uh, in the gold. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you'd like any more information, you can reach us at info at daytradethemarkets.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.